Yes. What the, yeah, sorry. Ice cream came calling last night. Um, <laughs> what were the bands called again that we got? Okay, you, uh, the ones that you, you've Phoenix. got the physics or something. But there yeah. are so many. There's a, I've, I actually had a look on Amazon the other day because a few people yeah. were asking me. Most of them are sold out. But if you go onto actual websites for companies that make them, so Core Balance, who make Core my Balance. Pilates ring, they, yeah. they have lots of bands. Okay. Um, perform Better, they supply to lots of gyms. Their bands are really, really good quality. So uh, Perform okay. Better have lots of mini bands. Yeah. On eBay, you can get mini bands as well. For, so, because, because as companies, obviously, shops that are selling on eBay. On eBay, yeah. Um, All right, so, so they're, they're not just second hand. They are okay. out there, just Amazon Great. is <laughs> it's quite hard to get hold of them. Um, or if you can get hold of the long band, you can tie yeah. it, you can just tie it up to make it a, a short right. band. So for people who haven't got bands today, it's still a good workout, right? Yes, fantastic. Yeah, still a good workout. Obviously, the band is just going to provide that little something extra. Um, but it's fine if you don't have a band. The little soupçon of a bit of tension. Exactly. Yeah. All right, <laughs> should we just get started? Because I woke Let's up Let's get started, yeah. Seven minutes okay. Ago, and I'm like, whoa, okay. Okay, right. Let's just put the band to one side for a second. Let's, we're, we're still going to start with your mobility. I want you to have your hands down on the ground, your knees underneath your hips, your hands underneath your shoulders. Extend your left leg out to the side. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in, reach that arm up to the sky, that left arm. And then exhale, reach under your right arm. And again, inhale, big reach up to the sky. And exhale, reach under. One more time, big reach, and then reach under. Place that hand underneath your shoulder, or say that it's on the ground. Bring that left knee back in, and extend your right leg. From there, you inhale, reach under your left arm, and then exhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Inhale, reach under, and exhale, big reach. Last time. Then you place that hand down, bring that knee back in, you flex and extend your spine. So you're coming into your cat dog uh, stretch, really pushing the chest towards the ground and up a little bit with the shoulders down, Try not to overarch that lower back. And you're here for another two. Good, and last one, you flex, come to neutral. And we're going to start off with a little bit of abdominal prep, just to fire up those abdominals before we get the whole workout going. So I want you to lie on your back. And you're going to make sure your lower back is down on the mat. So your hips are tucked in, you're bringing the pelvis towards the belly button slightly. You engage the pelvic floor, then one at a time, I want you to bring your legs into a tabletop. Good, keep that 90 degree angle at your knees. Push your hands into your knees. So you're feeling a little bit of connection through those abdominals. So you're gonna push your hands into your knees and you're automatically gonna feel those abs fire up. From there, now you're going to lift your right arm up towards the sky. And I want you to send that right arm back as your right leg goes forward, you keep pushing into your left knee. Then you bring that arm back in, that knee back in. Inhale, you reach back. Exhale, you bring it in. To that perfect tabletop, hips stay tucked in, the whole time, try not to bring the knees into the chest because you'll switch off those lower abdominals. Inhale, exhale. Good, going for another four. Three, the harder you push into your knee, the more you're going to feel your stomach fire up as well with this one. You've got one more. And then you can just switch and do the same on the other side. So you push your right hand into your right knee, then you're gonna reach back with your left arm and reach forwards with your left leg. By now, you should really be feeling that stomach fire up. If it becomes a little bit too intense, all you do is take some of the pressure off of that knee. Inhale back, exhale, you come up. Halfway, fully extending that leg forwards. Keep sinking your belly button down. Going for another two. One more. And rest for a second, give the knees a hug, rock from side to side. Then place your feet flat down on the ground. 
Interlink your fingers behind your head. Keep your elbows wide. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your chest. Then inhale, relax your head back down. Exhale, lift. So you're not just yanking on your head. You're actively lifting your chest. Just a slight tilt of the chin. And then you're getting all of the attention. You're sorry, um, tension in those abdominals. I've just realized I left my Apple Watch charging, which is very important because... I don't want you doing exercises all day. Okay, so I'm just keep I also, going. I haven't um, pinned it. Okay, you pin it while I get the Apple Watch. If you're at home doing this, keep going with those um, abdominal curl ups. Okay. What are we calling right. this one? Strength. This is um, lower body band workout. Lower body band workout. Okay, if you're doing those abdominal curl ups, you've got another three, and then we're going to do some pulses. So you keep going, you lift that chest, go for another two. Exhale as you lift. Last one, lift and hold. 20 little pulses up. You go for one, two. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Keep lifting the chest, keep sinking the belly button down, and lifting the pelvic floor up towards the ribs. Keep lifting. Another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ab should be feeling nice and switched on. Okay, then in the second trini, we're gonna get your band and we're going to start with that, um, with your banded workout. Got it, sorry. And I have, I got my, um, Trini London makeup yesterday and oh, I'm wearing it today and I love it so much. I actually said to myself in the mirror, Natalie, you are glowing today. Oh good darling, good. I really love that. That BFF cream is magic. Literally all of my pores just disappeared. Fantastic darling. And I'm not just saying this because you're my, you're my client, like genuinely, I was like, this is amazing. Good, good. Which bag right, you're going to put that back. Where am I using it? Sorry. Where am I? I'm using Round your ankles. So I want you to come up onto your feet. I'm going yeah. to come up onto your feet and put the band around your ankles. Yeah. And Trini, you're very used to doing this one. We just haven't done it for a while because I okay. always get used to doing this one. So the band is going to go around your ankles. Your hips are going to be tucked in. You can use your mat to, as a guideline for the distance that you're going to walk. Hands in yeah. front of the chest, hips yeah. tucked in, you're going to walk sideways. Keep squeezing your bum, keep your legs straight. That's really important, because then you're going to be firing up the glutes a little more, but you're keeping the abdominals working as well. So you're not wobbling about, that's where you use, lose that connection. You're, you're keeping your whole body as stable as possible. That way, all muscles are working as they should. And when I say hips tucked in, I mean not sticking your bum out. You'll bring the pelvis towards the belly button as if you've got a string going from the pelvis to the belly button. You tuck in, squeeze your bum, gently draw that belly button in towards the spine so you get the transverse abdominus switched on. You're going for another length there and back, and then we're going to do some squats. By now, if you are using a band, you should feel this really warming up. The glute medius, the hip stabilizer. Okay, I want you to stop there. You're going to come into some squats. Inhale, push your hips back. Exhale, drive up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Your feet should be shoulder width, toes slightly turned out if you want to get a little deeper in that squat. Otherwise, you can have your feet parallel if you've got quite good mobility. Inhale, lower, exhale, drive up. Really feel that you're pushing the knees out, you're feeling the feet uh, really grounded, but your, the weight is predominantly through those heels. Squeeze the back muscles as you stand. So you are outwardly rotating the shoulder, palms turned forwards, back muscles engage. Go for another two. Good, one more, you're going to lower and hold in that squat. Bring your arms to just widen the shoulder width with your thumbs turned up. You're going to come into wise with those arms. You inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Really feel that your back is firing up. The backs of the shoulders are firing up. 
and you're encouraging mobility and range of motion through that shoulder girdle. Work with the breath. You exhale to lift the arms, going for three. Go for two. And last one, stand up. Okay, band is going to go just below your knees now. Right, you're going to start one side of the mat. Push your hips back so you're in a squat stance like this. And you're going to walk sideways, keep pushing your knees out to the sides. And then you're going to walk back in the other direction. You're not pushing your bum back here too much, and you, but at the same time, you're not rounding your back and tucking in. You want to keep a nice, neutral spine, so you keep those natural curves in the spine. And that's for stability, and you're going to be strengthening those muscles in that um, neutral spine, which is really good. Keep pushing those knees out for those butt muscles to work. Trini, are you feeling this? Yes, I'm feeling it. Is everyone feeling it? And if you don't have a band, you're going to feel it too if you go back and forth a bit faster. Oh, yes, absolutely. If you don't have a band, you'll still feel this. Keep those shoulders set back. You've got one more to the end of the mat and back. Good. Coming back. I'm definitely beginning to feel this now. The muscles around my hips are getting very toasty. You're going to stay there for a second. Hold that squat. Keep pushing the knees out. Palms in front of you like this, so palms turned up, deep breath in, exhale, open the chest, squeeze the back muscles, inhale, arms come together, exhale, open and squeeze. So you're still working those legs, you keep pushing those knees out, but now you're firing up your back a little bit, opening up the chest as well. Go for another three, two, last one, and stand, okay. Oh. I know, it feels good, doesn't it? Okay, that band is now going to come down to your ankles again. We're going to fire up the upper body a little bit. You're still working the lower body, but let's just bring in some abs and some arms. I want you to step to the top of your mat. You're going to roll down, walk your hands out into a high plank. From there, your hips are tucked in, belly button lifted, and you're going to go into toe taps out to the side. So 30 seconds, you bring your right foot out twice, one, two, back to the center, left foot out twice, one, two. Now the modification for this is to put your forearms or your hands on your sofa so your upper body is elevated. If you haven't got a band, it's still effective. So your hands are down, you're in a high plank position. Trini, you are very familiar with this one. You're gonna bring the leg out twice, tapping the foot twice. So you one, tap, two, tap, switch. One, tap, two, okay. tap, switch. And you stay down for this one. I want you to stay in your plank the whole time. So we're not doing the plank walkout. You are just holding that plank. You're here for another. 20 seconds. Last 20 seconds here. Good. Make sure that upper mid back is lifted. You're spreading out your fingertips. Hips stay tucked in. You're not pushing your bum into the air. Rest if you need. You've got three, two, one. I want you to push back into a child's pose for a second. Just have a rest completely. Nice deep breaths. We're going to do another variation, but this next one's a little bit more um, for the back of the glute, the glute maximus. So slowly roll up, roll those shoulders back a couple of times. You're going to go into that second variation now. So hands are down, lift your knees. This hips are tucked in. This time you're gonna lift your right foot twice, place it down, lift your left foot twice, place it down. Make sure those hips are level with your shoulders. So you're not pushing the hips up into the air or dipping them down towards the ground. You've got that nice, solid, straight line of a plank. And you keep the movement small if you have to. If your band is quite light, it's gonna be easier. If your band is heavy, it's going to be more difficult. 10 seconds to go. Lift, lift, switch, lift, lift. Good. Three, 
two, one, and stop. Okay, roll those shoulders back a couple of times. You're going to come into your next exercise now. This time we're going to work in sets. So you're going to place the band around the balls of your feet. Trini, we haven't done this one for a while. You're going to be really excited. <laughs> so the band is going around the balls of the feet. You come into a semi-squat position. So knees are soft, hips pushed back a little bit. Then you are hopping from side to side. You push those knees out, push those feet away from each other. And you're going to do this for 45 seconds. So you're getting glute activation, abs are working, and it's cardio, but it's very low impact. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. 45 seconds. You hop, hop, hop. That's it. Try to keep those feet pushed out. You really want to keep those feet pushed out so you've got the resistance. The whole time, that band does not get slack. You've always got the torque in the band. Good, keep pushing those hips back, shoulders are back. Deep breaths when it starts to get really hard. And if you need to, you can come into some big, no, so if you want to, you can make it a little harder by going faster and trying to jump further from side to side. So making it a bigger distance. Keep those feet pushed apart, Trini. Keep your knees bent. If you need to reduce it, you just step, 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 because it's hard, this one. Three, two, one, stop. Whoa. Okay, right. Next exercise, we're gonna stay standing. I want you to bring the band up to your ankles. And for this, you need to, if you've got really fantastic balance, you don't need to hold on to anything, but I do recommend that you hold on to a wall or a chair or a shelf or something because you're going to, you might need a little bit of balance here or assistance with your balance. Okay. So with this, hips are parallel, toes are forwards, knees are soft, and you're going to balance on your right leg, lift your left leg, and you go for little pulses up, keeping the toes turned down on that left leg. This is why I said if you need to balance on something, you can do. Now, you don't want to bring the hips off to one side. It's my leg it's very, straight. Your leg that is lifted is straight. The, foot that is, the leg of the foot that's on the ground is bent slightly. So your back leg that is lifted is completely straight. You squeeze your glute maximus, that big gluteal at the back, as much as you can. Little pulses up, going for another 10. Nice, so you're really working on the stability of your right leg and the glute maximus of your left leg. Three, two, one, stop. You're gonna switch and do the same on the other side. So you start off bent knee position, back is neutral, you're going to lift your right leg now. Make sure those hips are turned down. You squeeze that right glute as much as you can. Little pulses up. Now these movements are small, but they are effective. Our favorite kind of movements. Because you're working on stability, working on lots of different muscles simultaneously. Another 15 seconds here. Keep your right foot flexed. So toes pointing down to the ground. Maintain the 90 degree angle Good, at the ankle. Nice, really balancing on that left leg. You've got three, two, one, and stop. Oh, okay, God. just shake off those hips. Yeah. If you want to, grab a sip of water, grab a sip of water, because we're going to go back to that little hop. Of course we are, Natalie. So you... <laughs> we like that hop, though, don't we, Trini? Can I tell you? There is no other exercise bar that hop that makes me wake up the next morning and think, my God, I have buttocks. There we go. Nice pert peach. Not that, but right. really, I really feel it. <laughs> okay, so you're going to bend your knees slightly, hips are back, and let's go. Hopping from side to side. Try not to move the body all over the place like a jellyfish. 
You want to keep everything nice and tight, keep those muscles switched on. If you need to, you can step it out. So you're just stepping from side to side. Maybe you can bring the arms into it, make it a little, a little dance move. Otherwise you are hopping side to side. Hips are pushed back. You're not pushing your bum back. You're not rounding your spine. It is neutral. Hop, hop, hop for 10 more seconds. I love this exercise so much. It literally it, brings me a lot. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I just can't wait to get my band on. <laughs> That's it, keep going, hop. Try to go laterally, Trini, so you're hopping, I know, you're I stepping just, I, out. I'm burning. I'm burning. Okay, two, one, stop. Shake it off. Shake. You can take the band off for a second if you need to, just to give those legs a shake off if they're feeling a bit like jelly. And don't worry, we're going to do a really thorough stretch for those glutes or the hip stabilizers at the end. Right. Band is going back on around your ankles and you're going back to that second exercise. So put the band on Oops. around your ankles or just above the ankle area. Knees are bent. Hips are pushed back a little bit. You're holding onto a wall or something, or if you've got fantastic balance, nothing. You're going to extend your right leg. Hips are tucked in. Glute is engaged. Little pulses up. Really squeezing the glute as much as you can. That glute maximus. This is your glute medius to the side. Glute maximus is at the back. And you can actually feel it, put your hands in, make sure it's solid as a rock. That's what we want. Keep those hips tucked in. Nice and parallel, belly button drawn in. Nice deep breaths. That bent leg stays completely still. In fact, push the knee out to the side ever so slightly. That's gonna switch the glute on a little bit more and take the pressure away from the knee. You've got three, two, one, switch sides. Whoa. I know, these are all, these episodes are really, <laughs> absolutely, okay, are you ready, you're going to lift the left leg now, toes turned down, balancing on that right leg, hips tucked in, really squeezing that left glute maximus now, as that right glute medius works on stability, if your ankle is wobbling, I want you to grip the ground with your big toes, if you're scratching a towel under your foot, that's going to help stabilize the ankles. Good, little pulses up, up, up for five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Oh my God. Okay. If any of you have got bands yet, get bands, it just doubles. It does, and you can take them with you anywhere. If you're traveling, you can just take the bands. You've got loads of workouts with these bands now that you've done with me, Trini, so people can follow those workouts. Yeah. Right, this, we're going into a different superset now. So I want you to, you can do this with your feet on the ground. It is slightly easier if you have a chair or a step. So I'm just going to get a chair for this one. So because you're going to be doing a glute bridge with your heels, if your heels are elevated, okay. um, it's slightly easier for you to switch on that glute. So grab a sip of water if you need, and then you're going to get a chair or a step or a sofa. Doesn't matter what you have. Don't even really need one. And then the band is going on just above your knees for this. Perfect. Okay. Is that nice and stable, Trini? Yeah, relatively. Okay. It's more than it looks, my darling. It's heavier than it looks. Where okay. Are the bands? You're putting it on just above your knees. You're going to come into a glute bridge variation. So I love this one. It really gets the hamstrings, the muscles, um, the back of the thigh muscles. So you're lying down and you want to have your feet elevated, heels on the edge of the chair. So the band is just above your knees. You've got more or less a 90 degree angle at the hip and the knees. You're going to tuck in, lift your hips into the air, one vertebra at a time, squeezing the backs of the legs. You're going to squeeze those glute maximus muscles that you have just activated in the previous exercise. Then you roll down from your shoulders back to your tailbone. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, you tuck in, lift all the way up, 
gently pushing the knees out to the side. So I didn't talk about foot placement. You want your feet to be around 10 to 20 centimeters apart. And for this one, your toes are parallel. Are we going Again, to you turn? Down. What are we doing? We're going, we go, well, you're lifting your hips up and then rolling your hips down just to um, act, get the muscle activation before you make it slightly more difficult. Again, you're going to tuck up, really squeeze the back of those legs and then roll down. You've got one more, I want you to lift and hold it there. You're going to come into, um, you're going to come into tabletop with your right leg. So you're lifting your right foot away from your chair. So right foot lift, that's it. And then you roll down, lift back up again. So you've really got lots of resistance on the back of that left leg. If you need to keep both feet down, then you can do. If it's a tiny lift, if there's going to be less resistance. Obviously, the more you pull your knee away. You're doing a single leg glute bridge. So you're lifting the hips all the way up and all the way down, but your right leg is lifted. So it's just your left leg working. I don't know if I can do it on this side, but I'm just wondering. Okay, then you just, if you can, you lift with both legs, lift your right foot briefly, then put the yeah, foot back down. That's fine, I'll take time. Yeah? Okay, great. So you've actually only got another three here. Really lifting, tucking in, squeezing the glute. Another two. Good, one more. See if you can lift and hold. 10 little pulses. If you need to put your heel back down, your right heel, then you can. Otherwise, little pulses up for 10, nine, eight. Really lifting those hips, Trini. You're gonna keep the hips elevated. I can't keep the chair from moving, that's all. Okay, keep both heels on the chair and continue the pulses that way. And then the chair, and grip with your hamstrings, really feel the pull with the back of the leg. Continue for four, three, two, one, you roll down, give the knees a quick hug, rock from side to side to loosen up that lower back. And then we're going to go and into the second leg, and I'm gonna give you a slightly different variation, Trini, so the chair doesn't move so much. So both heels are on your chair. You're going to tuck in, lift up, Lift your left foot for a second, place the foot back down, and then roll back down. That's it, now roll down. I might be able to. So, yeah? I'm really careful. Just, you're, the, the, one of the bonuses of the chair moving is that you're really working those hamstrings now, because you're trying to keep it drawn in. But don't, I hope it doesn't put pressure on your back or your knees though, Trini, so just be careful. Keep those hips level. Going for another three. It's a tough one, this, with that resistance. Two. Obviously, if you haven't got a band, this is still very effective. One more. You lift and hold. Ten pulses up and down. You can have both heels down if you need to. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift and hold. So you need to keep your heels down. You can get rid of the chair if you want, Trini, and just put your feet on the mat. That's it, lift and hold there. Push the knees out to the side. Little pulses pushing the knees out, but your hips stay lifted. So you're pulsing the knees out, getting the glute maximus and the medius working. So I want you to keep your hips up, then the knees are going out to the side. Little pulses out for another three, two, push and hold. Now pulsing up to the sky with the glutes, just for five. Four, three, two, one. That's it, get rid of the chair. Little pulses up, keep pushing those knees out. And then you roll down, give your knees a big hug, rock from side to side. So a nice little release for the back. Okay, the band is going to come off. So just take the band off. For a second. Just so you can get up and move that chair easily. And then we're going to stand up and do some squats. So I want you to stand up. Without the band? Um, on, I just took the band off to move the chair and so I wasn't waddling around. So the band is going to come back on because this is a banded workout. But you don't strictly need a band for this. Band is going just below your knees. So just below the knees. Okay, so 
So you're gonna step to your left and squat, stand, step to your right, squat, stand. So bring in a little bit of coordination. Step, stand, step, stand. Bring your feet together as you stand, feet apart as you squat. Use those arms so you're squeezing the back as you stand. Palms turned forwards, shoulder blades squeezed together. And then you can start to make this a little bit more intense. You inhale lower, exhale stand. You're going for another 20 seconds. So inhale, exhale. So you should be starting to feel the heart rate is raising a little bit. Good, tucking in those hips. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Going for another three, lift, two, lift, last one, and stand. Okay, let's fire up the upper body a little bit. You can keep the band where it is, that's fine. You're gonna roll down, walk your hands out into your plank, Hold it there for a second, squeeze the glutes, and then you walk your hands back to your feet. So now you are doing those plank walkouts, Trini. You've got six repetitions all together. If you're at home and maybe this is a little uncomfortable for your wrists, or just very difficult exercise for you, then hold the plank with your knees down. It's still going to be effective. You're still gonna be working those abdominals. Just take some of the cardio elements away. Good. Going for another three. Good, walking those hands out, hips tucked in, good. So this is fantastic for sh triceps, shoulders, uh, so you're working on stability through the shoulders, obliques the side of the stomach, as well as the abdominals. And you're getting a bit of a stretch through the backs of the legs. Last one. Gonna roll down, walk those hands out. Good. Then walk the hands back to your feet. Stand up, hopefully that band hasn't moved. It's just below your knees and you've got round two of your squat. Are you ready? So you step out to the left. You squat, stand, step to the right. Squat and stand. Squeezing the glutes as you stand. Really pushing the knees out. If the knees are coming together, you're not using those glute muscles and you're putting a lot of pressure on the knees. So you want to push them out. Inhale, exhale. You're here for another 15 seconds. And then you've got your last exercise and then you're stretching. Good, working with the breath. Inhale, step out. Exhale, bring it in. Good. One more, and stand, okay. You can take the band off because you don't need it for the plank. You're coming back into that plank. Walk out. So you're stepping at the top of your mat or on your ground, on the floor, and you're gonna walk those hands, squeeze the glutes, walk those hands out, then walk your hands back to your feet, trying to keep the legs as straight as possible. Roll up, big stretch. Roll down, walk those hands out. Good, walk the hands back, roll up. Try and keep that stability, try and keep your glutes slightly switched on, those abdominals fully switched on as you walk those hands out. Good, then walking those hands back, nice deep breath. Okay, two to go. Roll down. Good, roll up. Last one, this time you're going to hold the plank, okay? Going to roll down, walk those hands out into your high plank, and you're going to hold it. Okay, we're gonna finish with a little bit of flexibility work. We need to push back into a downward dog. If you need to bend your knees, you can do to get that range of movement, then come forwards into plank. Good, then push back, downward dog, forwards into plank. You're just doing a few repetitions here. Sit, push back, feel that you're pushing those heels down towards the ground. 
So you're getting the stretch through those calf muscles, hamstrings. Good, two more. Inhale as you plank. Exhale as you go into downward dog. Last one. Come into your plank. Bring your knees forwards. And then you're resting in child's pose. That's it. Do you want to go onto that mat? That's it for those knees. And then you're going to reach your fingertips forward and just relax for a few seconds. Nice deep breaths. And then walk your hands over to the left. So your hands walk over to the left and you're going to push your right, uh, your right hand down the ground. Place your left hand over the top of your right hand and then really pull away so you feel the side of the body stretch out. And then let's walk those hands over to the right, placing your left hand on the ground, right hand over the left, getting a nice stretch through the side, the left side of the body. Come back to the center, slowly stack up. Roll those shoulders back a couple of times. Good, I want you to come into your neck stretches now, and then we're going to go into your glute stretches. You flex your hands, so your hands are flexed, Shoulders are back. You need to tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. And then take hold of, actually it's probably opposite for you. So, so you're going to take hold of the left side of your head and with your right hand and very gently pull. Just so you're really lengthening the side of the neck. And then you look down towards your right pocket. Very gently take hold of the back of the head. Come back to the center. Let's do the same stretches on the other side. So that right hand is flexed. Tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. Take your uh, left hand and place it on the right side of your head. Good. And then you're going to look very gently down towards your left pocket, taking hold of the back of your head. Come back to the center. Roll those shoulders back a couple of times. And then you're going to lie down on your mat and we're going to go through those stretches for the glutes and for the hamstrings. So you're lying down on your mat. And I want you to lengthen out your, your right leg on the ground. Take hold of the back of your left leg, so interlinking your fingers. Take a deep breath in and exhale, extend that leg. Inhale, bend and exhale, extend. If you need to, you can bend the right leg and place the foot down on the ground. That's going to take some of the intensity away. It's always working with the breath. Deep breath in as you bend the knee. And exhale, letting all the tension go as you extend the leg. Going for another two. Good, last one. Extend and hold. Holding for three. Two and one. You need to bend that right uh, knee. Place the foot on the ground and cross your left ankle over your right knee. Coming into your figure four stretch for the glute medius. Pull your hands through that triangle. Interlink your fingers behind your right thigh. And pull the leg towards you. If you need to prop your head up on some cushions because you're being pulled forwards and you're a little uncomfortable, then go for that. Or you can do this seated in a chair. Keep pulling that leg towards you. It's a really important stretch. You have really worked the glutes today. Trini, how are your how how are you feeling? How are your glutes or your My glutes your, I feel I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of bed tomorrow and I'll need to stretch. But that's good. Yeah. But I feel I'm gonna feel it. Yeah. And that's good because it means that you've uh, you, because you haven't done these exercises for a while, you, it's quite likely that you will feel it. But that's, you know, not, not a that's bad good. thing. Just, yeah. But also, it's, I think it's, I like to reiterate to clients, if you don't feel it, if you don't feel those aches, it doesn't mean you haven't worked hard. It's just the body is very good at adapting. Yeah, okay. Better, they might not feel it so much. Exactly. Right, you're going to cross those legs over completely. Turn the palms up to the sky with your arms in a 90 degree angle. Lower your legs uh, to the right and look to your left. So you're getting a nice stretch through the chest. 
and a little bit of mobility through the spine. Come back to the center, uncross the legs. You're going to lengthen out that right leg on the, or sorry, the left leg on the ground and interlink your fingers behind your right leg. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, extend your right leg, flexing the foot if you want more of a stretch through the calf. Or you can let the toes relax to get more of a stretch into those hamstrings. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Going for another three of these active stretches. Two. And last one, you extend and hold. Holding for another three, two, and one. Bend the knee, you're gonna bend that left knee, place the foot down on the ground, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Lift your right leg, interlink your fingers behind your right leg pulling your arms through that uh, triangle. And keep drawing the leg towards you so you feel the stretch. With this one, you can stretch a little further than what you think, especially if you're quite tight around the hips. And I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to take in deep breaths and really relax as you exhale you can definitely stretch further there because your nervous system calms down um, and you let go of some tension. Okay, you're going to bring your arms out into that 90 degree angle with your palms turned up to the sky. Cross your legs over completely. Lower your leg to the left and look to your right. And take your left hand and place it on top of your right knee to just help press the legs down a little bit more. And taking deep breaths. Don't worry if that arm's lifting up a little bit here. The more you do this, the further down that arm will go. Holding for three, two, and one. Come back to the center. You need to give those knees a hug, rock from side to side. And then turn over so you can come into a cat dog stretch. And then we're going to stretch out those hip flexors. So just a little cat dog stretch, loosen up the spine a little bit and come to neutral. Take a step forward with your left foot. If you need to roll your mat over, you can do to protect your knees. Tuck the hips in. I'm just going to come over here. So you tuck your hips in and then place your left hand on your left hip. Reach up to the sky with your right hand. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, lean to your left. So you're really lifting the ribs, outstretching the side, the right side of your body. Uh, so Trini, we're just doing the um, kneeling hip flexor stretch. So if you come, sorry, you can probably see my knee. So you're kneeling on your mat. Fold it over if you need to for a bit of extra cushion. Your left foot is forwards. Your right knee is down on the ground. Your right arm is in the air, hips are tucked in. That's it, and really try and stretch out that right arm. If you're lifting it straight up, that's fine. And then you can bring in a bit of side bend. And you're engaging the glute, that right glute. So you're squeezing your butt and that's gonna help switch those hip flexors off. Come back to the center. Let's do the same on the other side. So I often find with um, hip stretches or you know hip flexor stretches, people just come forwards like this. And that's not actually stretching the hip, that's opening up your hip capsule, which is really, really bad. So this is tucking in and actually stretching out those hip flexors. Back to the center, come up onto your feet, shake off the legs, roll back the shoulders, set your posture up for the day and you're done. So good, that.